anti-pasto French bread pizza. For every French bread pizza, par toast lightly. The French bread itself, so it's extra crispy before you put your toppings on so it won't get soggy in the middle. While it's still warm, rub the garlic into the bread so it has that beautiful garlic flavor. I have one 15 ounce can of Italian tomatoes, a pinch of salt, a pinch of sugar, a few leaves of basil, all going into the food processor. We add a good drizzle of EVOO, good olive oil. We add a little oregano. Whenever we use dried herbs, we lightly crush them in our palm. And for those of you that like it spicy, as I do, we add a little crushed red pepper flake as well. Then you turn the lid. And there's your raw sauce. Take a little of that raw sauce. Don't go too crazy with it. Up and down your bread. Okay, slather it with the back of your spoon. You want the flavor, but you don't want it too wet. Then we're going to put mozzarella, provolone, and parm. But you gotta do this sparingly. We're gonna layer this, okay? Because now we're going to add our meats, pepperoni, and a little salami and hot copa ham. I know. <laughs> this would definitely be John's favorite. He loves salumi or different types of salami, right? We always have it in our fridge. And his favorite four letter word is pork. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna cheese again. That's why I said go easy on the cheese on the bottom layer. And then some hot cherry peppers. And some artichoke. I know. All right, I'm gonna get these in the oven. The antipasto pizza is out in its center board here. Uh, this is your bonus online pizza. It's a white pizza with scampi shrimp and cheese. So if you, uh, this is my favorite. The staff was more excited about antipasto and nacho, but this is my favorite, the white pizza. 